So you want to edit your videos faster? Here are my top five hacks why you better know so you can edit faster. Whether you're on Adobe Premiere or Final Cut, this video is for you. The basic editing hacks or tips you know to speed up your overall workflow does apply, doesn't matter what program you use. And the first hack or tip that I have that you better use is understanding the news of why you need to know keyboard shortcuts. So think about it, you have your keyboard here and you're essentially the default layout on any video editing software is pretty much all over the place. So you're taking time to click this, move your hand here, look down, move over here, move over here and here. So essentially you're moving back and forth. And you might think that might not take a lot of time, but if you're editing for three to four hours, those, the times that you have to always look down and then look back up at the screen takes a lot of time. So one of the things that I realized that sped up my editing is having your own personal keyboard shortcuts. So essentially, I don't have to move my hand. All my controls are within the tips of my fingers on one hand. I move the timeline with my mouse over here and my hand is constantly does not move and I do not need to look down. That will save a lot of time. My second tip is make sure you label your timeline because most people are lazy and they just drag and drop their video files onto their timeline and it's all essentially one color. But if you properly organize and look at, you label all your, let's say your main narrative, blue, and then you label your additional B-roll footage, orange, and then your third camera, pink. So when you look at your timeline, you can see, okay, these are the clips I have here, these are the second camera that I have, and this is the third camera. And I can see which camera goes in which order in the timeline. Instead of people looking at their timeline and just being like, whoa, this is just one big mess and I don't know where's where, what point of view is which and what camera is which. So know your damn labels. On the theme of organization, Tip or hack number three is your bin folder. Most people, when it comes to very beginner use of video editing, they just control A, take all their video files and dump it into their project folder, which is a big no-no. Why? Because you will eventually have to look through every single clip and figure out, okay, is this the right one I used? No, is it this one? Is it this one? But what I do is I make subfolders. In other words, I have, let's say, talking portion A. I label that. I have my B-roll folder just for that. I have my third camera folder just for that. So if I'm looking for a specific angle and a specific view or story, I look within that folder without, instead of compared to like me throwing everything onto the timeline and being like going through each and every single one clip again and trying to figure out what is it that I'm trying to put together again? So make sure you label, especially every time you import a new project, make sure your labels and your project folders are set up because this will save you a lot of time. My last and final tip on how you efficiently edit faster, whether you're in Premiere Pro or Final Cut, is that you take your time, which is cool and all if you wanna be a perfectionist, but if you wanna get better, you need to challenge yourself. You need to know your capacity. You don't need to, you know, drink a sip of coffee and just don't feel like and you're like in any rush or all, but if you specifically want to get faster, you need to time yourself, challenge yourself, figure out, okay, I'm going to time myself and I can see how much videos can I get done in two hours, one hour, how much can I do in half an hour? And you would be surprised if you put and then you time block yourself and then you figure out, okay, wow, I actually got quicker than I did this time. Instead of be able to always be in a relaxed state and video editing. When you're on a time crunch, you can realize your fullest potential when you constantly pressure yourself and that's how you get better as a video editor. So those are my top five tips on how you get better at videoing. Doesn't matter what program you use, these key like principles and foundations are what you need to know when it comes to efficiently and quicker video editing. If you wanna know more than nitty gritty and you don't know how to use programs like, let's say the big one, Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I actually have a course on it down below and I take you step by step in more detail on how you learn the video editing process from the very beginning to the very end and having a final video product and things like, you know, importing clips, what type of settings I need to export in and all that nitty gritty in the link below. My name is Peter and we all start from nothing, but you can always create something.